Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Justin Owens. I'm a worship leader, songwriter in Nashville, Tennessee. And today we're going to take a look at another Christmas song. This one is called Hope Has a Name by Passion. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to play it on the acoustic guitar, first and foremost. Secondly, we're going to dive in how to lead this song, some things that you can share with your worship team and your congregation as you prepare to lead it, and as you lead it, and then some scripture that will go with it to help empower it. All right, so diving right on in. First, let me just say a very Merry Christmas to you guys once again. And this is song number four, I believe, off of that video, I'm going to link it right here again, five brand new songs for 2020 that are Christmas worship songs. I guess that's how you could say that. But if you haven't already checked that out, go check that out. And then also uh, you'll find the other three tutorials that I've, I've made that were part of that list. And then I believe I've got one or two more that I'm going to make. Um, here in the next week or so. So stay tuned. All right, this song is pretty simple and straightforward. It is in the key of A flat. We're going to be playing G shape. Uh, if you wanted to knock it down to just G, that would be fine too. We're in 4-4. That's our time signature. There is only one section where there is a, a few split chords. And you'll see that up here. I'll put those chords in parentheses. In this video, this song, this case, those uh, chords are going to be split evenly. So they're going to get two beats a piece. So one, two, one, two is that next chord. Okay, so just we're on, the, on, so we're on the same page when we get there. But starting off, this is the intro. The intro is four bars of the one, which is G for us. Okay, and so the count is like this. One, two, three, four. One, two three, four, again, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. That's the intro. Just the one. You're going to hold that G, hold that one. And then after that, we're going to go into verse number one. Uh, verse number one is going to be two bars of the one. You'll see that up here. Two bars of six minor, which is E minor for us. One bar of the four one bar of the five, and then that just starts over essentially with, we're gonna tag that four and five at the end. So the same thing, two bars of the one, two bars of six minor, one bar of four, one bar of five, and then here's the just a little tag for that verse, another bar of four and another bar of five, okay? So really just G, E minor, C, and D, okay? Pretty straightforward. Yeah, we are moving right along. Let me just uh, play through that verse real quick so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. So let's just start from the top here. So starting on the one. One, two, three, four, one. Six minor. Three to our four. One, two, three, four to the five. Two, three, back to our one. Two. Three, four, one, two, three, to our six minor. Here comes our four, two, three, to the five, one, two, three, and just repeat that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, into our chorus. Okay, just like that. That's verse number one, and then the chorus. This is the chorus, pretty simple. You're gonna see our split chord up here. It's gonna be one bar of the one. And then we've got half a bar of four and half a bar of one. You'll see that in parentheses. So two beats a piece to our six minor, full bar and full bar of the five, okay? And then that just repeats. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, six minor to the five and repeat that and then I believe from there I could be wrong about this I want to say they jump straight into verse two I didn't write down when I made this chart I didn't write down an interlude or intro so I'm I'm guessing they go back, or they go straight into verse number two, uh, since the the vocals aren't on and on, since the vocals are not, they don't come in until the three. So one, two, a da 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 da, 
right? That's when the, the vocals come in right there. All right, so jumping into verse two, uh, pretty much the same thing as verse one, except with uh, except for the end here. Uh, the four and the five, as you see, they're going to split a bar. It's going to be two beats a piece. This is another section where we've got a split bar. We've got two bars of the one, two bars of six minor, just like before. And then that four is two bar or two beats and the five is two beats. So basically that little, that bar right there is, is our walk up into the, uh, or a vamp up into the, the next chorus. So this is how it, how the count goes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, six minor, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, our four, one, two, three, four, just like that, okay, and that'll get us into the next chorus, which the next chorus is, guess what, the exact same as chorus number one, um, and then after that, there is no interlude, no, no, no tag or anything at the end of that, they go straight into the bridge, the bridge is going to be one bar of the four, one bar of the five, another bar of the four, and another bar of the five. And that line is just going to repeat three times, okay? And so the, then there's a little bit of a build there on that that last four bars uh, with the drums coming in uh, a little bit more predominantly. And then we'll go back into a chorus. Actually, we go back into two choruses. We did the chorus twice after that. So you'll have a total of one, two, three, four, five, 16 bars uh, to finish out the song. And, I'm, and then I believe they just end on the one. All right, guys, that's it. That's Hope Has a Name by Passion. In. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it. That's Hope Has a Name by Passion. I actually think out of all the songs that I've done with this, this Christmas thing, this is probably my favorite. I've heard this song several times. We have it on our playlist at church. I actually recommended it to play this Sunday. We're not doing it this Sunday. We're going to do it next Sunday, but I love this song. I think it's a really, really good song. But anyways, let's uh, let's move on to the next section. Don't go anywhere. We're going to talk about it a little bit and give some scripture that you can use on your, your Sunday morning worship service. So hang out. Okay, so the song, Hope Has a Name. Yeah, this is uh, this is not just a Christmas song. I was listening to it, listening to the lyrics. There are some themes in there, you know, such as referencing uh, Mary holding her her baby child. There's a, a line uh, that has a, an allu that alludes to that in the verses. Um, and, and then also just some of the, some of the themes in the verses give a picture of, of the coming of Christ. So that, that first coming of Christ. So there is, I think it was written with Christmas in mind as a, as a Christmas type worship song, but I think it's perfect. And they think, I think they hit the nail on the head with it. However, I do think that this is a song that you could do year round. It's not a really, really good chorus. This chorus is really, really strong. And it's very memorable, very easy to sing, pretty simple to play through as well. So I wouldn't just look at it as another Christmas song. Do this in January, do it in February, do it next summer. <laughs> you could probably do this song any time of the year and it would go over really well. It'd be a really good song to do. But I think that the title in and of itself and then the answer to that, which is uh, Hope Has a Name, comma, Emmanuel. Uh, that is essentially the theme of the song, Hope Has a Name. There is such a thing as hope, and we all strive to find that. We're all, whether we acknowledge it regularly or not, we're searching for hope in our lives. We're searching for that peace, that contentment, that 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 state of existence that um, that possesses no stress or anxiety or fear or worry. And as Christians, we can acknowledge and accept and believe in faith that that place is in the arms of Jesus, essentially, yeah, for, a back of, uh, for a lack of a better way to put it. Um, it's, it's entrusting in the name of Jesus, and we put our hope in Jesus, right? And so the name of that hope is Emmanuel, essentially, God with us. That's what Emmanuel means. And that is where we get our comfort. That's where we get our peace is taking security and trust in Emmanuel, in the meaning of Emmanuel, God with us. And the promise of that, that scripture gave uh, all the way up to the, the birth of Christ was, uh, was that picture of hope, was that picture of, of God with us, that God would come to be uh, amongst us, and little did we know before Christ that that what would happen would be that He would die and come back to life to be that covering for our sins. That He was the ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate Lamb that we needed. Um, I, I don't believe that that was 
I mean, it, it was it was prophesied, but I think a lot of people, especially when Jesus finally came, weren't really aware of what was about to happen and why he was there. I think they, they wanted a king. Um, Israel wanted a king and, and they were expecting Jesus to be the king, like, but then he died. <laughs> and so the, the promise was fulfilled. Uh, I think it was just misinterpreted uh, at times. Uh, for if you if you go back and read scripture scripture you'll you'll see that you'll see that picture but anyways today in modern times 2020 we take our hope in the premise of God with us and that now that he has come and he died and he fulfilled those prophecies and he rose from the grave and now ascended to the father and he sent the holy spirit to be with us that is God with us the holy spirit is the god believe in the trinity believe god the father god the son god the holy spirit and God with us is Emmanuel. He is with us now. It's not something that we have to like look towards or look forward to in the future that one day when I get to heaven, I'll be with God. No, like you're the Holy Spirit is he resides in us. He is with us now. And there's not this this there's not this eternal hope or peace that we have to look to. It's like we got to be stuck in our misery. No, like we can take security and our hope can can be found in that in, in that promise, in that truth right there. Anyways, getting long winded on that. Hopefully it's something in there would, would be encouraging for, for you to be able to share with your worship team, even if it's just a simple reminder that the Holy Spirit is with us. It's not something that we have to long for or hope for in the future, that one day we will have, uh, you know, this relationship with the Lord. And, and, you know, obviously in person we will, but we still have the spirit of the Lord on us and in us. And he, he lives and resides with us as Christians and believers. That would be a great reminder, I think, for your, your congregation and your worship team. And then scripture, uh, we're going to look in Matthew chapter 11. We're just going to look at 28 through 29. I would encourage you to read that full chapter as well as you're preparing to lead this song. Um, uh, verse 28, come to me all who are who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Uh, 29, take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. Other than that, that's this video. That's it. I'm done. I'm not going to say anything else. I'm done with this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more just like it. And also comment below some recommendations, suggestions of different videos that you would have, different songs that you want tutorials on. i um, making a list for 2021. I'm going to wrap up this year here in the next couple of weeks with a couple more videos. And uh, yeah, I look forward to making those. I'm looking forward to the new, for, to the new year as well. I think we all are. Uh, yeah, and uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed this content. And yeah, if you have any questions or need help with this song at all, uh, hit me up on Instagram. I'm going to put my tag up here as well. Would love to help you guys out. Other than that, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.